Francis Maxwell here, TYT Sports, bringing you coverage from day six. Yeah, sorry, losing count of these days because of how exciting these World Cups have been. Honestly, it got off to the similar fashion as many of, game, of the games in this tournament has, has got underway. The underdog coming out and taking the lead. But this is what I just can't understand. Why are players continuing to do this? An experienced man, Tottenham's Vertonghen, who plays for uh, Belgium, gets in the box and he just clearly uh, grabs the player down in the box. And I don't understand after we've seen what's happened numerous times with penalties being given very softly in this competition, players continue to have contact in the box when it could be easily avoided. So once again, Belgium uh, pay the consequence for this and Algeria take the lead with uh, Figuli who stepped up and slotted it in the corner. So Phil played it in. And once again... The curse of the team who scores first comes back to haunt them again. A team who goes 1-0 up is susceptible to conceding. And thanks to inspired substitutions by the Belgium's uh, coach, Mark Vilmots, um, they go back and they come up 2-1 with, uh, first of all, one of the subs, Fellaini, battling in a header with the big Afro man getting up there and powering it in off the crossbar. Uh, and then... Once again, later on, we have finally see Hazard, who didn't have the best of games, to be honest. Finally get into his groove, and he broke away and slotted in Martins, Mertens, sorry, who, who put the ball, the ball into the top corner for Belgium to go 2-1 up. I wasn't as impressed with Belgium, as, as I know they're one of the higher-tipped underdogs, as I've said previously. Um, but they, start, they showed, obviously, uh, signs of talent throughout, and uh, they got over the first hurdle. Uh, that's all that matters in the, one of these first games. Some things happen, um, as we've seen many games in the Costa Rica game, like, it doesn't always pan out, so uh, they got over that first huddle as I said and uh, they go through to the next game so with a Turk and Jerk is that I'm just going to stick with this because it's so crucial in this competition coaching decisions will win games Mark Vilmots as I said he may have not made the best decision to, to not start Fellaini and Mertens but he understood that he changed it in the second half and then they came out and they just both of them uh, got on the score sheet, so you can't really argue with that. Great decision, 2-1. Okay, so for the jerk, uh, I'm obviously going to get some criticism on this because I've I've not get I know I've got few hair hair critics out there who like to comment on my nicely. Uh, gelled hair but whatever I'm going to have to say that Algerian striker Nabil Gilas I don't know what he's playing at I think he's went with a zero on sides with nothing on top and a nice ponytail that Jason had to comment on um, saying that he's actually going to do that if Algeria win their next game so fair play to him but he has to get the jerk of the of the game award for me uh, shocking but anyway Belgium get past the first game more games to come today stay tuned <laughs>